Alright, oh, a bit of a play with this big day chinchilla. to climb in here, just about. It's stuck in here. Um, that's that valve that was set in the leak detector off. I don't know if this is going to show up. You can just see a few little bubbles creeping out just between the where the equalising line goes on and where the um, I think that's the outlet. Hmm. We've just gone to run this up and it won't start. Um, we've checked in, there's no power coming in. No power coming in on the switch. So we we'll have to look at the breaker or something. Got a quick check in the motor um, compressor windings and they look, seem okay. I mean, we've got a slightly different resistance on one but we just might not have had a very good connection on the um, where we were testing it. It's a bit of a beast. So one, two, three, four, five, eight cylinder. And then some unloaders on there. See what happens. We have, we have a compressor. That's the start of our Just found this leak on the yeah. Oh, distributor on another one. Looks like someone's. Uh... I think they're KMPs. Yeah. KMP seven eight. This is chiller number seven that we've looked at today. That's got a really old reversing valve on it, which, um, which you can see is really oily. It's about to fire up, and it's all oil on the floor there. Leak on that, on both those guys. So that 
needs a new reversing valve, which is going to be uh, fun because this is a sort of spider shaped one. And that distributor right down there, I don't know if you can see it, that looks a bit wet, so we're going to take the end panel off and have a look at that as well. Bit of a change around all the pipework. work. 